Hello and welcome back to the Lazy Bone Zone. I've got some real progress to show you this week. To start with, here is 99 fire making at 546 completions of Wintertop. I stayed here until 666 KC since I was trying to get the Tome of Fire. Crates will be shown later on. I headed over to Camelot to pick up the skill cape. This can be used as a light source in dark areas that can't be put out. I've always enjoyed this emote. I wanted to start farming this week. I made some oak saplings from acorns and put some pineapples into a compass bin before heading off to Fossil Island to gather volcanic ash. You can get there easily from birdhouses unlocked last episode. With my mining level, I get free each time, but this goes up as you gain levels. With the miracle of editing, here's one hour later. I combined the volcanic ash with super compost to make ultra compost for my tree run. This gives a 95% survival rate. First quest is the Garden of Death, followed by the Feud. Next, Temple of the Eye. I'll return here soon. The next quest was Garden of Tranquility. I've always loved the cutscenes in this quest. The first one, his poor guard gets slaughtered every 30 seconds and we meet PK Master. This is followed by King Roland being disrespectful about the garden, forcing him to get slapped by his queen. Serves him right. She put a lot of effort into making me do that work. Ahem. Anyway, the next quest was Shield of Arath, taking the Phoenix side. I purchased a bunch of runes for mage training, and finally, Evil Dave was next for another glove upgrade. That's free completed in this quest line. I had some time to burn, so used some ores in the bank to hit 40 smithing, ready for smelting gold. I was running low on food, so I gathered the fish from Wintertop and headed over to the Hesidious Kitchen and got 66 cooking along the way. Now for the part we've worked towards, Tithe Farm. Each 20 fruits takes 5 minutes. I sped this run up to show you how I do it. I could do 25 seeds at a time, but it's very click intensive and I wanted to relax during this minigame. I advise 8 watering cans and more seeds than you need in case you don't complete a full cycle. I want to complete the entire collection log here as it's great early game farming XP, especially the auto weed feature to avoid raking any weeds when I start herb runs. You can start this at level 34 farming and these seeds give 9600 XP per 100. Here's 1100 total and 47 farming. Time to enter the farming guild. I'll start with using a large composter. This takes 50 volcanic ash and 30 watermelons for 30 ultra composts at a time. I also grew multiple crops ready to complete my first contracts. I got extremely lucky first time and completed three contracts in a row. This doesn't normally happen, I normally get one or two. I return back to Tithe Farm and now I'm able to use level 54 seeds. These give over 21,000 per 100 grown, a huge increase in XP per hour. I was running out of inventory space, so I purchased the Grycola's can. This can hold 1,000 charges of water. Goodbye normal cans. I spent a further two hours here and got 61 farming, unlocking the last piece of the farmer's outfit. Finally, here is 266 crate openings, with a look at the collection log at the end. Next week, I will finish the last 10 hours of Thai farm, start working on Motherload Mine, and get more crates from Wintertop. I managed 7 million fire making experience this week, and I'm going to keep pushing until I achieve the tome. The rest of the video is the loot gain during this week. I hope you have a happy new year and I look forward to seeing you then.
Tell me.